Our recording is in progress, and now we go out to our uh, sign-in on Facebook, and I believe we're, oh, it says setting up your meeting on Facebook Live. I think it's already there. Okay, it's done. Hello, everybody. How are you? We're ready to go. Yes, sir, Bob. Let me get my thing feeling good here. Hi, it's Monday, and uh, I'm COVID-free now, or I think I am. I haven't taken a test, but I assume that I am. Uh, but uh, I have a little after-COVID uh, uh, stuff, you know, lightheaded and tired and so on. But other than that, I'm doing just fine. I came through it all right. And let's admit all the people here that are here so far. Uh, boy, there are a lot of them, too. I'm including somebody new, um, Francine Witt, I believe. How's it? How, wait a minute. Um, uh, Francine, would you turn on your camera? Yeah. Hi, I was, I was trying. Hi, Alex. Hi. Um, so I met you a long time ago, and the way I met you is my ex-husband was your ex-wife's cousin. Wait a minute, my ex-wife's cousin. Susan. Okay, now I'm going to have to. Hi, everybody, by the way. Uh, sorry. The, uh, sorry. <laughs> let me just introduce the people that are here so far. Mandy is here. And uh, 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 Paula is here. And Andrew Deutsch is here. And Edward Berger is here. That's right. And then France. <laughs> yes, Francine White. Or, Wit. Is, how's it pronounced? Wit it? Witty? Wit. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're coming up with Marjorie and Len, but neither of them have started to show their pictures yet. Now, let me get this now. My ex-wife's... Susan. Your your ex-wife, Susan. 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 Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What? Hold on a second. My, my wife is bothering me here. <laughs> Video. We play the theme music while we Unmute. Unmute. Yeah. Okay, we just started over again. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> oh, this is a fa this is a fa anyway, so it was a student of my ex-wife, which my Susan? Susan. What did she where was she teaching? Was she? she wasn't she wasn't a teacher she was um my my ex-husband they were cousins they were co Miriam Miriam and Avram were her parents yes right and right and Henry was Miriam's brother I see okay all right so so right and I had met you uh, Miriam had us over for Thanksgiving and you and Susan were there so we met but I had been listening to you on ABC for years. Yeah. Like I, your all night show. I used to stay right. up all night. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was really thrilled to meet you. And so nice to be here. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, <laughs> but that's okay. Since Marjorie yeah. is connecting to audio. Hold on a second. Yeah. Now we need to get a picture out of Marjorie. She'll <laughs> be back in any minute now. So I can do <laughs> IT. <laughs> Oh boy! Can you hear me, Marjorie? She can't. She, it's, it's something wrong with her today. So anyway, meanwhile, meanwhile I think that is so cool that that the uh, people show up after years and yeah, years. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I. Um, it's so long ago. It is a long time ago. It's like the night eighties, uh, really. Yeah, like the beginning of the eighties. Right. Yeah. Uh, so for me to cut there, there she is. There's Marjorie. That's my <laughs> current, that's my current wife here. <laughs> In a long list. She's wife, she's, wife, she's, wife, she's wife number four. After Susan, I didn't get married for what 15, 20 years, something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Right. I figured I'd uh, write it all off. And then all of a sudden I met Marjorie and it's she proposed to me on <laughs> It's a liar. Yeah, really? it was on the uh, uh, what do you call day. Leap Day? Uh, Leap ah, day. Sadie, Sadie Hawkins Day. Yeah, you mean that's exactly. a true story? Exactly. She, she, yeah, she, she really story. did. So I'm a Sadie Hawkins husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
coming up again in two weeks. Yeah, yeah but that's amazing. Uh -huh. That that really is. Um, yeah, because I remember, of course, her parents who were two wonderful people. They were very nice. Yes. Yeah, and then so I guess we went to her place or something for a dinner. We went to we went to Miriam's place, Miriam and Avram. Yeah, right. They had us over. I think it was up in the Bronx or something. And I think that that time they were down, uh, weren't they down in Alphabet City here in New York? It could be, it could be. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's a long time ago, but yeah. it was the day after Thanksgiving, actually. These yeah. were two older people who yes. lived in Alphabet City here in New York, which at the time, you know, you go out your front door, you're going to get shot. You know, <laughs> we go, up there. go out your front door and get shot. Well, we go up to their place at night and you could hear gunshots going around, all around the neighborhood, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, no, but it's not that way anymore, <laughs> as are right. most of the uh, places have been uh, upgraded, shall we say. Uh, and uh, and now you live in Harlem where it's safe. I'm but happy. When, 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 her parent, when her parents moved out of their place oh. in Alphabet City, mm -hmm. they owned it and they yeah. offered to give it to Marjorie and I as a wedding gift. And I not looked at yeah, not Marjorie, but Susan, Susan. Yeah. as a wedding gift. And I mm -hmm. said, Are you out of your mind? You know, I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to have a place, but in Alphabet City. And the thing is, if we got in that place yeah. and held on to it for a couple of years, it would have been worth a fortune. But at that time, nobody wanted to move into the neighborhood, you know. Right. So anyway, so let's check in on everybody else here, too. Let's see. Uh, there's uh, Charlie has joined us. And Len has joined us. And Marjorie, who is my uh, current wife. Um, I... Uh, I, I got I got all she wouldn't have anything to do with me until I got over my COVID. She uh, you know, she I had to stay in the guest room and it was kind of like I felt like I was imposed upon to live in a cell, you know. So it was I born Mary. Huh? Yeah. So oh by the way, I, we should just uh, identify um uh, uh Francine, you live here in New York? I live yeah, I live on um, the Upper East Side. Upper East Side. Yeah, we're, 72nd yeah, in New York. We're up on the, we're in Harlem. We're at 160. Neighbors. Yeah. yeah. Last night, Marjorie has this thing called Citizen, which lists all the crime <laughs> in your neighborhood. Yeah. As it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Police responding to a stabbing at 116th Street. And we go, oh, wow, we could go down there and look at the blood. Yeah. <laughs> but she has this thing on her on her uh, uh, phone i took it off mine because it was just annoying okay but to her it's made her paranoid about everything and yesterday all of a sudden she looks at one and says report smoke reported at and then it gave our address <laughs> oh. all of a sudden we go out and look down uh -oh. and here come the firemen through the front gate <laughs> oh no but they didn't stick around they left pretty mm -hmm. fast so apparently it wasn't that bad as smoke, but, uh, uh, you know, so, so you got your money's worth with citizen Marjorie. I still have it. You still have it. Okay. All right. So anyway, uh, so we're, uh, everybody doing fine. How are you doing? Uh, um, uh, uh, Mandy. Good. How are you? Yeah. Well, how you doing? I'm good. Oh, okay. Everything good in Atlanta? Yeah, we got represented yesterday in the Super Bowl with the concert in the middle. So, yeah. You have what? A, a what in the Super Bowl? I said we got, Atlanta got represented in the Super Bowl with the, the concert in the, at halftime. Oh, really? Oh, who? how did it get represented in? At with halftime? Usher and Ludacris and Little John and CeeLo um who else i think they may have had a marching band from the atlanta area i'm not wow. sure about that. Wow. okay all right all those artists are from i mean i don't think he was originally from atlanta but that's where he went to high school so i mean he calls atlanta okay it, it, it counts you know and they had alicia keys was there too right yeah, yeah she was there too what was it usher just didn't want to perform the whole thing by himself well a lot of his songs like one of his 
his biggest hit is a collaboration and Ludacris and Lil John were on the record. So, I mean, he's going to have them come to it. And She's perform. younger than we are. She knows all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I watched uh, what I watch. I watched uh, the uh, very end of the game and I watched the halftime. But I watched the end of the game so I could see the extended camera work by CBS on Taylor Swift and her boyfriend kissing. That was beautiful. That was pure love. Oh, <laughs> tell me that when in a couple of months when she dumps him. Can I just I don't care. It's love now and it's beautiful. Is this going to wind up in marriage? No, it'll wind up in the song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Mm. That's but why I was hoping he. That's why I was hoping he would win. His team would win because I thought if if he didn't, they'd be too unbalanced for them. Yeah. Because she just won a Grammy. Yeah. And I don't think their relationship would survive that. They need the balance, <laughs> yeah. Emmy. Yeah. Super like, Bowl ring. You know, yeah. she's killing it in her field, and he's got to kill it in his field. Otherwise. Yeah. It's, hmm. it's not going to work, you I know. I mean, him, did you find? Did you watch the thing at all? Did Did you watch it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I had it on because so my, my husband the end of it. Um, I watched the end of it when they were giving out the you know the Super Bowl trophy, right? Yeah. And he started singing or something, and I went, "Why?" <laughs> you know, because he was happy. Nobody. <laughs> oh, because he was happy. <laughs> I mean, is she going to, after it's all over, give him a, a, a rundown of how good or bad his singing performance was? Probably. <laughs> you know, you're you're a football player, damn it. Just play football. Don't sing. Yeah. You know. uh, Andrew, did you watch the Super Bowl? No. 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 I mean, I just happened to watch it because it was on here and there. You know, Marjorie wanted to watch the beginning of it. And then we, we went back what looked like it would be halftime. We caught halftime right as it went on. And then we, after she went to bed, I went in, turned on the TV, and it was all over. And I found out that the 49ers had lost, which I'm from San Francisco. So, you know, I had a, a stake in the game. Uh, unlike just some people singing from Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> Are, are you invested, by the way, uh, Mandy, in, in the whole Taylor Swift uh, deal? No. With Kelsey no well, or whatever I, I thought, you know, oh, that's cute. And I thought he was cute. And his brother plays for Philadelphia, but just retired. But I kind of, you know, just like whatever. I always really just naturally root for the NFC team because Atlanta Falcons are in the NFC. So I've just kind of always been an NFC yeah. person. Yeah. And also Kansas City. They've won it several times in the last few years. So I was, you know, rooting for Let San Francisco. Somebody else win for a change. That's what yeah. they said about the Patriots. The, they kept winning it. That was the the quarterback for San Francisco was the last draft pick, you know. So he was kind of making some history. And, you know, I always kind of go for those kind of. What I understand, somebody told me today, they were doing, 49ers were pretty well winning it. And then in overtime, yeah, the, the Chiefs pulled it out. Yeah, it That's was how kind I, get to, I get to keep my sports Emmy for another year. Oh, brother. <laughs> Here we go again. Because yeah. I was able to go through all of that and know what I was talking about. It kind of uh -huh. gave me the whole feeling of like the Atlanta game when they were in it and New England came back and beat them in overtime. And they've changed the rules since. They It seems like they changed the overtime rules all the time, but they had changed the overtime rules. I don't know. I didn't really have skin in the game, but I kind of did want San Francisco to win. So I was kind of bummed. And that's why I didn't see any of the stuff afterwards. I just clicked, turned it off right when they, when they scored that touchdown, I was like, bah, game over. Click. How many people here did watch the Super Bowl yesterday? Uh, okay. So we, we have quite a few people here to watch it. Uh, Three. What was the, disappointed. <laughs> what was the best commercial? I like the Dunkin' Donuts one with Ben Affleck and Matt Damon with J Lo. I, I thought mean, that I saw that. I mean, I had them all here today. I was able to look at them online, and that, that was that's pretty funny, you know. Yeah. 
My favorite, I showed it to Marjorie, and nobody brought it up as being one of the best ones, was this commercial for Hellman's mayonnaise. Oh, that was great. The cat Meow. Mayo. Meow. Mayo. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, it becomes yeah. a um, station. He's on, she's on the front of Time magazine. Or whatever. <laughs> it's you talking know. Mayo. Mayo. Yeah, it was funny. It was I'll funny. have to look that one up. I missed that. The other one was the, uh, what was it? What's his name? The actor. Uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. What? Arnold no, Schwarzenegger. His were good with Danny DeVito. Yes, yeah. who, but who that was, was good? That no, was that good. was good with Schwarzenegger. But then, yeah. uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh the, the guy from Shit's Creek. No, 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 yes, no. Was good. no, you know, the actor who uh, he uh, he uh, take he always takes one word, one vowel word, and turns it into two vowels. Like if you were saying the word make, which is one vowel, he would go make. Uh, I never knew. Oh, oh, I um, 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 uh, Walken. But, yeah, Christopher oh, Walken. Oh, Walken. Oh, so yeah. good. He goes, he goes, yeah. everybody comes up to him and starts doing their impression of Christopher Walken. That was yeah. so good. <laughs> you wonder where they're going with this. The idea is you don't know what it's for. Or you know it's for the car, for whatever the car is. I forgot it now. I feel like at the end, they said, you know, uh, everybody can try to impersonate Christopher Walken. Yeah. But nobody yeah. else really can, just like the Lexus or whatever. BMW. Yeah, BMW. BMW. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That shows you that funny commercials are not a good idea because I couldn't remember the name of the product. Right. Exactly. And you want to remember the name of the product. Exactly. Hey, oh, I remember. <laughs> you know. So, anyway. Um, so and 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 you try to see how many people got a million dollar payday uh, to be able to do a commercial on the Super Bowl because you know these stars ain't going to do it cheap, right? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it was a, it was a but uh, you know it, it, I did, how, it, how, did they say that there were a lot of people watching yesterday? Was it like the highest rated ever or something? Because they thought it was going to be. I, I wouldn't fun. be surprised. Yeah, but I didn't see anything today about it being, you know, huge in numbers. But because of all those Swifties, Charlie. Yep. That's hey. right. We were out in force. <laughs> you were. That's out. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so uh, other than that, uh, you know. Uh, uh, oh, what the units, the weather service has issued a winter storm warning for Harlem. They wow. always do that, and then there's never a storm. They were saying you guys were going to get six to 10 inches in, the, in New York what? City. On the news this morning, they said New York City was going to get six to 10 inches. Six to 10 inches of what? Snow. <laughs> six to 10 inches of Alex. Because if you look outside right now, it doesn't look like six to 10 inches is coming. Here the sky's blue. It's forty degrees. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't know because that's a fake background you've got there. It is. <laughs> like to think that you're <laughs> there. He's really in hell. <laughs> is that better? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I I I can actually uh, do some of the same things. You know, if I want to. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just. I choose my virtual background. I can change my background here to, well, there it is. That's my, my virtual background. Room. Hanging out with my buddies. Wait a minute. Let's go to the title. <laughs> what on earth is that? Huh? What? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tuck I don't know. You, you said you were going to send me some links or something to what you were doing. But here's I, a, I did. I sent you the link to in your. I'm sure I did. Did you really? In the chat, yeah. To to. to oh, the, it was. It's in the no, chat. Cause already, yeah, because you've already taken the the course. It's just a free link to to get the pieces of the course. No. Oh. You want the files? I'd have to bundle up a bunch of files and send them to you. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't get it. Where where did which? Uh, I, thought in, I thought in the Facebook chat. By the way, some idiot put a a bad link in your profile that says somebody died. And if you look at the link, oh, it's saw that. that. Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. Wait a minute. I don't. I don't. Where, where, where are you talking? 
in your, your Facebook, Facebook page. page. Yeah, on your Facebook, Facebook page. On my Facebook page. Let me go over to my Facebook on, right. page. There's my Facebook page. There it is. And then I've got it. Right. I thought I had, I thought I had messengered you the. And the somebody link. did what? Stevie what? Keys. Yeah, it says somebody died, and if you click on that, you'll end up in virus heaven. But yeah, right. Here, that's Steve Keys. Yeah, reported as uh, malware. Uh, yeah. yeah. I just removed it. You know, it's funny. People here were going crazy for the game. I guess the guy who's dating Taylor Swift is from Cleveland. Is he? Yeah. Oh, oh I didn't know that. What did you say? The guy who's dating? The guy, that the, the football player that dates the, the Kelsey Graham. Yeah. Kelsey. He's, he, he's from, he's Kelsey from Cleveland. Kelsey Grammer. It's from <laughs> Letterman's been doing that lately. Calling I think I did business grammar. with his dad when he was in the steel as a steel salesman for a project I was on. Wow! I, don't, I recognize the name. Yeah, there's good things about Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so uh, we've got we've got supermarkets and everything. What more can <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, hey! I take it. I take it that Andrew, that you're not interested in football that much, right? Never seen a game. Don't have any interest. No, I've I've never been to a game. I mean, I've 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 gotten stuck going, and then I after a few minutes, I go and wander around and find something to do. I, I, think, I, I think the last football game I ever went to was in high school. Heathens, yeah. you guys are heathens. <laughs> I want to watch someone chase a meatball. I'll go for Italian food. Well, I'll tell you something. Can I can I be honest with you? I I think football sucks, and I, let me give you the reasons why. Listen, I can hear the number of people not watching this now. <laughs> um, it, because you didn't I, go to Penn State. Well, I'm glad I didn't. I would have been raped by one of your coaches. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I uh, no. The reason is, is that I I I like baseball, and I can't say I done that much follow baseball that closely but i love baseball it's a pastoral sport you know people get out. yeah you know what i'm saying uh, uh, uh francine uh, they, they they it's kind of like what i enjoy about it about baseball is is that you go to a game and it's like it's out in the pasture is what it is and these people are playing this game and you're with friends and you're drinking beer if you drink beer or soda you're eating hot dogs you're just having a nice day out in the sun and all of a sudden something happens and then you go back to just enjoying being with your friends and so on and you wait a little bit more and then something else happens you know and most of it never happens till the last inning the last inning is always the most exciting part of the game okay and I like it, it I can understand it you have to you know you have to hit the ball go to first base Get the second base, get the third base, get the home, boom. That's how the game is played. I've never been able to understand football. It's just too complicated for my small little <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Listen, I, I had people I, I had Jerry Rice once try to explain football to me, and I couldn't understand it. You know, you weren't interested in understanding. Well, no, they it. get to this thing called downs, and I don't even understand what down is, except on a duck. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you know, so I, I, well, it, pastures, I, pastures what, are good. The Super Bowl is like a cultural event, though. That's what to me it's gotten to. You really, football is just kind of secondary. Yeah, all the just crazy pop culture surrounding it oh, okay it, yeah. that's what i i mean i it's, this as far as the super bowl goes well, here's how i feel about the super bowl they they have you heard the latest they're thinking of making the day after the super bowl a national holiday yes. <laughs> Gee. Okay. yeah but they won't do that for voting See, they won't do that for voting they won't do it for voting yeah yeah <laughs> Exactly. And the theory being, well, you know, no work gets done the day after the Super Bowl because a lot of people don't go to work, you know, a lot well, of who, hungover. Who's they, they, hungover productivity is down. <laughs> I don't care. You know, fire them. You know? <laughs> who, 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 who is thinking about doing it? Who's they? 
they, they yeah. was they I read somewhere. Somebody mentioned that there's been a oh, movie in somebody. Congress in Congress like, to make it a actually, like congressional law. Yeah. Yeah. But national, you know, national, you know, national, national, national holiday. Yeah. On this, I, bet, I bet that would pass. Nothing else passes, but I bet that would pass. Well, they, should, they should give us another day off because we got robbed. Yep. They added a day for Martin Luther King, which is, you know, some people agree with that. Fine. I just never was a big fan. Okay. I felt it should have been Malcolm X's birthday that we celebrated. But anyway, um, th that you know, that was fine. But what they did is they didn't give us another day. They took one day away. We had Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday were national holidays. They yeah. took those away, called them President's Day. And then, yeah. then but they never want to add another, you know, day off for people. They should do voting. Voting is too important. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, either that or do election day on Sundays. You know? Right? You know? Well, that would never fly with the ultra religious people. Uh -uh. Yeah. Save lives, they wouldn't be at Olstein's church and they could be out voting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they, uh, they're having target practice over there. Yeah, at Olstein's Olstein's church. Church. <clears throat> they got the grammar wrong in their prayers and it opened the door. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, they got the words out of order. Here's the thing if some people died there, mm -hmm. I mean, come on, where are they going? They're going to heaven, they're going to meet God. Yeah, they're gonna meet Jesus. Yeah. Well, I think one, unfortunately, one that died was the kid that she went in there with. Yeah, the, her son, her child. I don't know, son or daughter. Yeah, so a good guy oh, with a gun took care of that. Yeah, well, a, a good guy with a gun took care of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they, they had to stop her, and they probably shot the kid by accident. But you know, yeah, I don't know what the protocol is. You know, uh, with in police departments, hey, if there's somebody and they've got a gun and they're shooting and they're holding a kid, what do you do? I mean, that doesn't happen all that often, but what do you do? Was she holding the child? I think she was ho either holding yeah, the child. Yeah, she brought the child, the child in. She brought the child her. in with her. Hmm. Human shield, I guess. I don't know if she was using it as a human shield. Uh -huh. She just didn't want to leave the kid home. So take your kid to work day or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I always wonder about that. You know, they talk about the good guy with a gun. Yeah. There's a mass shooting going on, and a guy pulls out his gun and starts shooting when the police shows up. Who's the, who are the police going to shoot first? Yeah. The guy with the gun. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's happened. That has happened several times. Yeah. Yeah. And and this thing happened in Texas. This happened in Houston. Houston. Right near I you. Town. Huh? I lived in Houston for a year. I lived in Houston for two years. Yeah. You know, I love that town. It was it's a great. Big town. You know, I, I wouldn't want to live there now because of the politics of the state. Thank you, Governor Abbott. Yeah. But, you know, you know we're watching this thing called Dr. Death. <laughs> Has anybody seen this thing? Yeah, through half of the first episode. Uh, yeah. Um, it's about a doctor who goes around operating on people but is not very good at it since all his patients die spinal what kinds of spinal surgery the spinal surgery yeah oh and i think it turns out basically that he's dyslexic <laughs> well that we don't find out until he's in jail alex yeah but i don't know how you become how you can be dyslexic and pass yeah. the, as a as a surgeon okay yeah. uh but anyway, we're watching this, oh, and and uh, one of the hospitals that he was basically at was Baylor Plano. And what's his name who calls the show a lot here? What's his name? Scott, Scott Boddicker. Yeah. Scott Boddicker calls this show. Uh, lives in Plano. Really? Yeah. So, um, uh, but that must be a world class hospital there, I guess. Baylor, Baylor. Oh, yeah, Baylor. Baylor. Yeah. Yeah, Baylor's a big deal. But is Baylor Plano? Yeah. Is there, well, Baylor, yeah. Is there like well, Baylor San Antonio and Baylor Houston and so on? Usually a Probably lot of these Baylor. hospitals add the person who gave them a couple of million bucks. And that's their name that comes. Oh, but Plano is the name of a city in Texas. That's, right. yeah, that's where the hospital is. Yeah. Baylor's oh, a college. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, the University of Texas Hospital is in Houston, even though the University of Texas is in Austin. Go figure. Okay. But <laughs> is there a University of, uh, uh, of is the University of Texas, did you say? Yeah. Is there a University of Texas Hospital in your town? No, not in Austin. It's in Houston. <laughs> That's where they decided to build. I don't know who made that decision. They just, hey, let's have a hospital. All the other schools have a hospital. Let's get ourselves a hospital. Let's get Dr. Death. <laughs> well, it's Dr. Death. He just goes around killing people like crazy, and they can't prove but. I got to I got to see the documentaries on this guy because I can't understand how he could have gotten that far, and nobody caught him. Nobody to say, "Hey, all these patients of this guy are dying. You think he's not a good doctor for this hospital?" The hospitals hide all that stuff so their their reputation doesn't get ruined, and they they don't That's have right. to. Pay yeah. Yeah. They, they That's right. Yeah, it's like Catholic. That. It's like Catholic priests. Yeah, well, he, he, was, we don't have to deal with. <laughs> he was he was a neurosurgeon and we're watching this thing of course marjorie who's paranoid like hell has no. neurological problems in that she has she should have some spine surgery right marjorie well i had spine uh, surgery once yeah and but but this guy that was his his specialty and she's watching this you know <laughs> so she, you have a personal investment in it i would say i do this this week's curb your enthusiasm is really funny. Yes, it was. It is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's on last night. I forgot all about it. Yeah, so yeah. I won't ruin it for you. Love that show, but there's you know. Uh, last night's was very good, Francine. It was very good. Oh no, I definitely will watch it. Um, I Mark love it. I just sort. Of I was going to make a comment about it, but I don't want to ruin it for her. Marjorie was disappointed in the first week. And um the first one. The first one, the first week of this year. Yeah. Uh not of the whole series. Uh and uh she uh but the she, you had to admit this one was pretty good, right? It was Martin? great. Yeah. It was terrific. Yeah. Wait a second. There's a series about the enthusiasm. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Curb your enthusiasm. Oh, curb. Oh, okay. We okay. changed subjects here. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> made a little switch there. I must have spaced out. No, but Doctor Death is a series too. I think there's two two seasons now. Well, no, but the second season looks like it was made in a, in Italy or something. Well, it was made different doctor. It's a whole different thing. Yeah, well, it, to my way of thinking, there should be only one Doctor Death. <laughs> you know, if you're naming several people Doctor Death, I mean. He's Oh, He's a junior. Oh, what do you, what bragging rights do you have when there are a lot of Dr. Deaths around? There's a lot of neurosurgeons around. <laughs> well, there's enough Dr. Deaths around then. <laughs> uh, the Kevorkian Club. What? The Kevorkian Club. The Kevorkian Club. <laughs> no. <laughs> so he was a hero. He wasn't a yeah, it's funny. This guy is not a hero, and he's Doctor Death. And the other Doctor Death was Kevorkian, and he was a hero. So, mm -hmm. yeah. but uh, anyway, where? Uh, so, anything else? What else? What else do we need to talk about? Anything uh, happening that we don't know about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you talk about something if you don't know about? It? Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll just call this off early since we have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah. Um, but, uh, oh, we had a party here at the house. Something we don't do that often because Marjorie has sworn off Thanksgiving. She's not going to do it. This last one was the worst. Well, the reason is, Francine, you went, oh, the reason is, is that this year we did Thanksgiving. And after it was over, I mean, she was just wasted. Should, I was in bed from Thursday till Monday after Thanksgiving. Wow! So you did all morning. you did all the work for Thanksgiving, right, Marjorie? Yeah. yeah. So of course, I mean, of course, it's like putting on a Broadway play. Yeah. Well, I have a very bad back. <laughs> like putting on a, putting on a turkey. <laughs> so, yeah. so she she has decided that from here on in, all our friends and us, and we've talked to them already. We're going to get together at a restaurant. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Yes. And Marjorie doesn't, you know. 
uh, I mean, I help her clean the dishes and I help her, uh, uh, you know, with certain things, but most of the stuff I can't. She won't let me cook turkey and I cook right. a wonderful turkey. Okay. Uh, but uh, anyway, so the big deal was here that we decided that it was, uh, uh, she decided that she wasn't going to do that anymore. Well, I have my business manager who once a year says, we're coming to New York. Uh, we want to invite a couple of friends up to your place and we're going to make the dinner for you. Now, what they do is they bring a couple of things. They make the main dish and they make the salad. Marjorie's got to iron the, the mm -hmm. tablecloth. Place mats and the tablecloth. By the time she's through, she's done everything except cook, which is still a lot of stuff to do. And so a day later, she's like wiped out. She And the cleanup after, Alan, yeah. yeah. So next year, we have this cleaning woman. We're going to hire her to come and help Marjorie. And, you know, set the table, do things like that so that we can take that that onus off of Marjorie. But uh, it was a nice party, but, you know. It was too much. Too much. I mean, I don't mind the people coming over, but I mind you having to do a lot of work. See? Yeah. All right. You know, it's we're getting old when we're sitting here talking about the fact that she can't do Thanksgiving anymore. <laughs> I just can't, Alex, and I won't. Yes, you will, damn it. What's a wife <laughs> supposed to do? A wife supposed to cook. And what about ironing my clothes for crying out loud? I go in there, they're wrinkled, okay? You take them right out of the wash and you fold them up. You know what I, I say, Alex? Iron them. I say this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm. So Anyway, so... Uh, uh, that was our that was our big uh, we had a party this week weekend weekend and and two days before they got here I was through with my uh, Pax Lovid. Uh and um, uh, so I could be part of the party <laughs> anyway mm. how you doing um, uh, ja <laughs> boy <laughs> uh, Jeff how you doing good I'm I'm in uh, Florida yeah. Oh right now and, yeah uh, notice, notice that he's got uh, all those wonderful trees in the background there i've never been in this place <laughs> a never... friend of mine rented the place from the people who normally live here i would well, hope so otherwise you're living under false <laughs> <laughs> but they also have a place in brazil oh and they go to Brazil, and then we got a pretty good deal to rent this place for two months, two months, something like that. Two months? Really? That much? Yeah. yeah. And the price was was good. But anyway. It's, no, it's great. It's we're, true. We're in, so, we're in Brazil, do you know? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, i got to think about that. Well, my my uh, my friend uh, Lori Thompson, who I do some things with on the nighttime show, is my former uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, news Newswoman. My radio, <laughs> show, San Francisco. It, it just went to Brazil on a on a cruise for a month down to Brazil, hmm. uh, down to Rio de Janeiro. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I hear it's I hear it's kind of dangerous. It is. That was my. I lived there for ten years. So, really? Ten years, really? Yeah, in Porto Alegre in the south. Wow. Yeah, same as English. English too? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I speak Portuguese the same as I speak English. Well, you, if you live there for any amount of time, that's yeah. going to happen. Well, first, you got to find the bathroom, so that helps. And then, <laughs> and then, then you're thirsty, you got to figure out how to ask for water. And then the yeah, rest well, of the just follows. And it's all, all downhill from there, right? Yeah. The Latin, the Latin languages, so Portuguese, Spanish, Italian. Your third was, I think, where do I oh, find no. a hooker, wasn't it? <laughs> they I, I, don't, I don't make rugs, so I don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> I should know better than to pull a joke on him because he's going to come back with a better one. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, no, it's, it is a dangerous place. It was the first years I was there, it was great, and it just kept getting worse and worse. I, I, I'm still waiting. I sold my house in 2004. 
and I'm still in court waiting to collect the money. Wow. You, yeah. you sold the house in Brazil? Yeah, my house in Brazil. It's still mine. They they never paid. And we, we've we won seven times in court, and it goes through the appeals. Well, wait a minute. You have to go to... You, you, where you, where do you sue them? You sue them in Brazil, right? Brazil, yeah, yeah. I have a lawyer. My, my accountant there is taking care of it for me, but it's just a screwed... Everything's screwed up. It doesn't work right. So in other words, you don't have to go down to Brazil to do any of this. I may have to at some point, but right now they're, it's being handled in the court by my... My accountant represents me as, as me. So what you were there for 10 years. What yeah. were you doing there for 10 years? I, I was running my business, helping American companies set up distribution in all the South and Central America. Yeah. Okay. A consulting business. What brought you back to the United States? Um, that- I, my youngest was getting to be school age, and if Bush had given his Axis of Evil speech, and we had uh, an armed robbery in my office, hey. I didn't have to kidnap my kid. So they tried to kidnap your kid. There was, a, there was a plan we found out about, and we just decided that was enough. Well, no. just because you were maybe an American, American, and yeah, had, had lots of money and so on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but yeah. After after you look down the barrel of a gun a couple of times, it's about time to go home. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, after you hear that they want to yeah. kidnap your kid. Yeah, well, I had, I've got the medical testing. It turns out I'm allergic to lead. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to avoid the the shock. Or shot or how long ago was that that you were I came there? back to the states in 2003 oh okay so you've been back a while. so yeah. it's t- taking you that long to sell the house and then not be able to sell no, the- I sold the house in 2004 yeah they made the down payment the paperwork was done and then they never made the, the rest of the money never came they've been living in my house for free since 2004 ah. what do you mean the rest of the money didn't come? Oh, you you made the deal with them directly to pay you, the realtor, the realtor, and it's, 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 the paperwork. It, it went it, the paperwork got screwed up, and they decided to take advantage of it and chose not to pay. It's very it's, it's too complicated to explain here without. I I, I, I imagine, but, but wow, yeah, it was, yeah. But it was. I mean, I it, it was getting more and more dangerous. You you'd, you'd sit at home and and say, hey hey, let's go let's go out and have something to eat. He said, well, let's go to this restaurant. Ah, you can't go to that restaurant. Two people got mugged in the parking lot. The world, let's go to this other place. Oh, we'll go there. They 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 were the armed guys came in and robbed everybody at the table two weeks ago. Let's not do that. <laughs> so you end up, you know, it, it was that kind of a situation happening at the criminality. So it's still that way now. It's worse. Wow. It's, it's worse. worse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The big the big crime now is they'll 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 grab you. If you're out with a spouse, they'll hold your wife or whatever and make you go to the ATM and empty it out. And then they'll take you out somewhere and dump you in your underwear and steal your car. Alex, no Brazil. No Brazil. If you're in a touristy area, even but they there, have a lot of coffee I'm in Brazil. Brazil period. Coffee exports. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend unless you're going there's there's places that are nice there my father in the big cities it's not safe my, my father once told me he said uh because he he traveled a lot i mm-hmm. I, I remember him he had been to, to asia and so on and uh, as a musician mm-hmm. and he said if you want to visit lovely cities visit any city built on seven hills rome was one of them and the other one he mentioned was Rio de Janeiro. Back then, it was beautiful. It was, safe. Said, and it is. He said it's one of the most beautiful cities yeah. he ever yep. visited. That I, was I, then. I've worked, I've worked in over 120 countries, and Brazil's not on my list of places that I would go on vacation. Yeah, yeah. No, no it, I don't think so. It, well, if you want to get your, if you're a woman, you want to get your purse stolen, go to Barcelona. Oh, any of the best pickpockets in the world. I yeah. was in Barcelona once, and a guy was getting on the train, and mm-hmm. just as he was stepping in, the crook grabbed his foot and pulled it through the door while the door closed, and robbed him with his legs sticking out of the subway car, and then took off. Wow! Yeah, it you got to give that Bar- guy. It was in Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. but it's well, funny. Back in the eighties, the most dangerous places I used to go, like like Nicaragua and and uh, and Colombia and places like that, where we, we had armed guards. Now we're some of the safest places in the world to go. You want yeah. a vacation in paradise? Go to Medellin. It's safe. It's beautiful. It's springtime year round. Really? Where? Medellin in Colombia. Yeah. 
one that's of my favorite all, cities to go. That's and, where all the coke came from, the Medellin yeah. cartel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In, yeah. in, the, in the late 80s, I was almost kidnapped in uh, Medellin. So, Boy, they really, they, 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 kidnapping runs in your family, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. No, we're just stupid. Camps. It's, it's not, it's not genetic. It's, it's more being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was in dangerous places. I was in Nicaragua when the civil war. Why did it become suddenly so safe in Medellin? Because they because cracked the down. Cracked, the government cracked down on, uh, on, on crime. The cartels yeah, were, were diminished. They were in prison. They did a, they did a good job. Yeah, well, Marjorie, yeah. listen to him. We should go to Medellin. Medellin. It used to be Cartagena was just insane to go to the beach in Colombia. You you get now it's a, a traveler's paradise. It's beautiful. See, these places change. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I always heard that lately that uh, Brazil is you know Rio de Janeiro is very dangerous. Didn't they have an Olympics there, and the Olympic athletes were getting mugged and stuff? Yeah. 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 I, you're safer in in Mexico than you are in in lots of places in Mexico than you are in in the big cities in Brazil. You're I, safer in Harlem, you know. Yeah. I mean, Marjorie talks about I don't want to go to I don't want to go to Cartagena. Well, of course, if it's, it got cleaned up. The fact is that in the old days, you would have never moved into Harlem, right, Marjorie? I would never have moved into Harlem. <laughs> 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 and when we first moved here, the first New Year that we were here, somebody got shot to death at our front door, at our front gate, actually. And they had yellow tape around it for days. <laughs> yeah, and it was a guy that lived in the apartment house, and apparently he was a part of a gang, and they wanted to kill him, so they killed him. That was our first year here. Welcome I, I to saved Harlem. the yellow tape <laughs> for a while. Yeah, but you know, it was kind of like welcome to Harlem, Alex. You know. Yeah, but you know when you when you it's in your country, you can look around and you can recognize danger. When you're yeah. in a different place, some of the neighborhoods that you would think are hazardous or the safest places to be. You, it's, but you don't know. You don't know yeah. if you're if you're not from there. But you know, you're from New York. You know what what the crime looks like, and you 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 have behaviors and attitudes that can help you prevent it. If you're in a foreign country, you could be in an area that just looks absolutely gorgeous. But you don't recognize that that's that's a crime a crime zone. Well, when well, we first in a, in when we first moved here, place. when we first moved here, mm-hmm. uh, we couldn't. If you went on our front door to get a cab, you couldn't find a cab. You had to grab a black car, as we called them, gypsy cab, because mm-hmm. no yellow cab would come up here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, but that's all changed too. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean. Uh, so Marjorie, things do change. You know, you could probably go to Cartagena. It probably is wonderful. I don't know. Well, where do you want to go, Marjorie? We'll talk about it not on air. You, you, you well, guys look for resort, or do you look for adventure when you go somewhere? You want to see crazy nature and well, we're ju- we just become two old farts who are just looking for a boat to go on and just a river flash. cruise. But she won't take anything that has more than 100 people on it. So no, know. the one I found had 250 people. Yeah, well, I you know, there's some that take 1,000, and that's manageable. Think about yeah. Panama or Costa Rica. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful places to go, not expensive and yeah. safe, safer. Well, I hear the cruise to Alaska is terrific. But the smell. Oh. What do you mean the smell? There's no, no smell no. in Alaska. That was Antarctica. You're talking about, thinking about Antarctica. Antarctica. Yeah, my Shecky friend Shecky before he penguins. <laughs> my friend Shecky, uh, yeah, my friend Shecky before he died, I said, <clears throat> in fact, at his memorial, I said, gave me the best piece of advice I've ever had. He said, "Don't go to Antarctica. There's nothing worse than penguin shit." <laughs> <laughs> and when there were a thousand, oh, of, when there, there we go. <laughs> when there were a thousand of them pooping all over. It oh, doesn't so exactly smell terrific. <laughs> and he was going to Antarctica. Yeah, he bragging to me. I'm going to Antarctica, you know. And he went was... down there and I have a picture of him that he sent back with penguins in the background. What's funny about that is the colder it gets, the less smell is in the air. And he's on yeah. the ice with the penguins and it stunk that bad. Imagine if it was a hot day. He said it was disgusting. He said oh, he is. wanted to vomit from it. Oh, it's it's gross. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so when you see all those cute little penguins, you know, the March of the Penguins with yeah. uh, Morgan Freeman doing the narration. Yeah. 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 Aren't yeah. They cute? Just remember, mm. if you were there, you wouldn't think it was so cute. But 
anyway so that that was that we could go to antarctica marjorie i saw the the, the cruise for it it only had like a couple hundred people on the boat that's good those well, big alaska cruises are gorgeous I've, i know many people who've done them it's supposed to be gorgeous and very relaxing and, and we were thinking like some of those river cruises you know with the long boats uh they're not that many people on them and they're you know it, it, you know in the old days what i like to do is go to europe you know go to paris and then rent a car and then drive all over europe that was i love doing that but i can't, i don't know if i can drive anymore you know i i hit 84 and i haven't driven much since i moved to new york city and i haven't driven in the last 5 years and i just don't know if i can do it now you could you could also get a small cruise out of the port of new york that goes up to uh, Prince Edward Island and Labrador and all of that on the east part of Canada that's gorgeous. Oh, really? Yeah, and you've got you've got fans. There's a guy who talks to me on Facebook, Tim, who's from Prince Edward Island. He could take you to lunch. Oh, okay. He's a big fan of yours. Oh, really? Yeah, he talks to me on Facebook. He's, he listens to this show all the time. Oh, okay. I'll go to Prince Edward Island just to get lunch, right? Yeah, get free lunch from Tim. And then he'll, <laughs> give you a ride, he'll give you a ride on his motorcycle. So, Francine, <laughs> what do you do with your life? Uh we haven't we should know more oh. about our newest person here and i hope you come wait, back and see wait, us can we, can we play oh, the guessing I, game first can i guess? certainly <laughs> if you like <laughs> no i'm a i'm a retired teacher i taught in the new york city public school system for 20 years i retired about eight years ago retirement on that's pretty good isn't it it's okay you know i didn't stay long enough for it to be like the maximum or anything okay. so um, but what I do now is, uh, I always like writing, you know, but, um, like poetry and, and flash fiction, which is, um, very short, like 300 word stories. And so I do a lot of that now I'm able to do that. And mm -hmm. so that's what, what I occupy myself with. And I go to a lot of poetry readings and things like that. And I'm very, I'm very into like the, you know, like the kind of in what all of a sudden writing and by yeah. india i mean it's not like random house it, it's uh it's much small i have books with small these like small presses yeah right and um so you're enjoy you're enjoying retirement oh you know it's so funny because everybody you know people are, uh, especially teachers are like well, what am i going to do can i retire what will i do with my time and you know <laughs> i've never looked back i love it it just Marjorie liked being retired. She was forced into retirement, you know, but she's very happy with it. It's, you know. it's great, especially if you're not, uh, you know, if you're in, in a situation where you're not like healthy or something and it's, you know, and you, you know, as we get older, you know, that's always right yeah. there. But, um, you know, I'm very grateful to be able to like still do whatever I want, you know, and yeah. so... Yeah, well, but as you get older, I mean, like I'm worried. Like we we are getting a uh, inheritance, uh, substantial, uh, and but the only thing I'm worried about is I want it's going through probate and everything. I want to yeah. get it before I'm too old to use. Yeah, it. yeah. So, I hear you. I hear uh, you. Otherwise, I'll have to give it to Charlie. You know. And, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. You know, but I mean, I, I, uh, so I, I, because as you get older, your mobility does change. I mean, I don't walk as mm -hmm. much as I do. I took a fall a couple of months ago and it was bad enough that I'm afraid to go out and take walks now. Yeah. I yeah. hear you. Yeah. Um, you get a little, get gun shy when something's happened or, you know, if you, if you have fallen. If you take a real fall. After yeah. that, your 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 mobility oh, diminishes, yeah. not because of the fall, but because of the fear of walking. Sure. You know. Well, the fear yeah. of falling. The fear of falling, but walking right. and falling. Right. And uh, I mean, <clears throat> Marjorie, when we get, go down the street, sometimes we hold our hands all the time. I know people think that's sweet. No. But we're doing you know, it to really keep each other from used, falling down. I used, to, I've, I've used to fall all the time. And then... Um, my husband said, no, you have to go heel toe. You have to think of it very consciously because a lot of times when you walk, you unconsciously shuffle. Yes, I and do then that. You, and then you end up tripping over your own foot. 
Like right. you keep moving, but your foot doesn't. So you have to really make a conscious effort, heel, toe, heel, toe. And you have to think about it. Yeah. You know, it's not natural. I tr just really to pick up your feet off the pavement. Well, I haven't fallen since. I mean, yeah. I'm very yeah. careful. I look down at the but ground. That's what and, helps. Yeah. That's what helps me because I've fallen. I used to fall all the time. So yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, you know, but all I'm saying is, it, as you get older, that mobility changes. Mm -hmm. So your options kind of change. And so for the first time, Marjorie and I would have never thought about taking a boat anywhere. You know. Right. Yeah. But now mm -hmm. the idea seems to be if you're going to take a vacation, that might be the way to do it. Oh, I think it sounds fabulous, really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't I, have to wait around in an airport. You don't have to, you know. Well, I come up with all these exotic locations that she just doesn't even like. We haven't sat down and gone over anything, Alex. I mentioned things to you. I don't want to go there. <laughs> no, we have to sit down and plan it together. Like, you said the other day we've been watching this. Have you Alex, anybody, enough. anybody been watching True Detective? Yeah, uh, the, the one they they want the one they did in Antarctica uh, in, in um, uh, uh, where was it Antarctica? For Anchorage, Alaska, somewhere up there. Oh, they didn't do it in Anchorage, Alaska. I thought that's where it was. Oh no, it's it's like uh, that's not the one in Iceland that we're talking about. Uh, Iceland, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Of. It's a cool I, place. And and. Uh, they go through about a month or a month and a half of complete darkness. And she, you said the other day you'd like to go there during that. I was kidding. What do you oh, mean you're kidding? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be wonderful. That you're, you're there and all of a sudden you go, gee, it's getting so dark out there. What time is it? Mm. One in the afternoon? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, but I'll bet that show... Oddly enough, gets a lot of people visiting to Iceland. I hear Iceland itself is beautiful. It's supposed to be really nice. Scene? And the people are really nice. <clears throat> really? How do you know? Have you been there? No, but uh, that, there was that whole show. What was the name of the show that we saw, Marjorie, about the um, um, about the, the uh, um, the, 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 the Iceland uh, people landed in Iceland. Um, with the I forget the name. Oh, come away or something. Right, 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 yes. right. Yeah, that was a music. Play, yeah. yeah. Right, Absolutely. and and um, that's where Helsinki is, right in Iceland. Helsinki. Oh, that's Finland. Helsinki. Finland. Helsinki. Helsinki. Right. That's Finland. That's Finland. Yeah. That's Finland. Yeah, I think it's it's a. Uh, it's, Reykjavik it's, is uh, Iceland. And Reykjavik, right? Or Reykjavik. Yeah. Well, I went there's to. Only, uh, there's only three minutes left, Alex. But sometime ask me my Iceland story. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's not enough time in three minutes to tell you. Well, I went to Norway. I went to uh, Lillehammer in Norway. Yep. We had the Olympics. And it was wonderful up there. But, I mean, cool. I'm telling you, we left, uh, what, what's the main town in Norway? Uh, uh, Oslo. Um, Oslo, Norway. And we took a bus to the Olympics, 100 miles or so. And as you leave Oslo, just everything, for as far as the eye can see, is white. You know, just ice. <clears throat> no. There's a great show, Lillehammer, with uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, I love that show. Yeah, that well, we, we got show? there. I gotta tell you. What show? Lillehammer. Oh. Oh. With yeah. with the guy from the Sopranos, little Steven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was Steven great. Van or whatever his name is. Yeah, that's yeah. It. That was yeah. great. It's it's a wonderful little town. You know, it really is. Beautiful town. And uh and uh, and uh, to be there with people who are all bundled up, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, you make no distinction about anything when people are all bundled up, you know? You, as a guy, you can look at a woman and go, lovely face. <laughs> That's it. You know, you don't know anything else. You have to judge her by what she is through all that. That it's, But it's winter one... Burka. Hmm? A winter burka. Yeah. yeah. A winter burka. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, uh, you know, anybody ever, uh, anybody else here visit someplace that we should go on vacation? Argentina. Ar Argentina? We, not, not about a cruise, what about a cruise up the Danube? Well, the damn Danube, they, they show that all the time on TV. Uh huh. Yeah. It's, it's the only time they shot, sent a boat up there was when they shot the commercial. <laughs> you know, the river cruises in, in Europe are supposed to be gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Well, it, it, it's something relaxing where we don't have to really work at it. I mean, driving is a job, you know, but I, I always like just being able to drive around, find some place and stop and stay there, you know. And we did that the last time. That's how we found, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Cinque Terre. No, that isn't. We found Cinque Terre by the owners of that restaurant that uh, Arthur and I used to go to. Oh, okay. We, anyway, to to. we went over that's there. We, and we, that's how we got the hotel. Yeah. Well, we, we, we didn't know we were going to Cinque Terre. We just decided we would. And, uh, you know, it's nice to do that when you have a car. But... You know, either of you speak another language or communicate at all in a second language? Not really, but I do know enough Spanish that if I'm in Spain for a while, it starts coming back. Gotcha. Hmm. You know, but no. it's 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 functional <laughs> Spanish. It's not. I couldn't carry on a prolific conversation with you in Spain. Alex Sincatera was not Spain; it was Italy. I know. I didn't say it was Spain. <laughs> 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 Listen to what the show's all about today, Marjorie. <laughs> you know, we were talking about, he said, do you speak any languages? And I said, I speak a modicum of, of Spanish, but it all comes back when I'm there. I can't just spurt it out right now, you know, so. But his Spanish is pretty easy to learn because it's closer to English. You just add an O to everything. <laughs> hey, listen, we've run out of time here. I hope you all have had a nice time. And Francie, yeah. please join us again. Will oh, you? I, I will. You know, I always see that it's on Facebook and they went, oh, I meant to, I meant to go in there. So um, is it like Mondays and Thursdays? Do you have a special? Yes, well, mon Mondays I do this. Okay. Yeah. And this, okay. Is, this is the group of really nice people. Oh, I can see that. And we have a few that haven't called today that are part of that. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I will definitely be back. This is wonderful. Yeah, I mean, uh, Brian would be here today, but he's probably too exhausted from watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't talk politics at 4 o'clock. Yeah, the show I do at, uh, at 1030 at night on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, they do a lot of politics. They talk about a lot of politics. So we fight a lot. Yeah. And we fight a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and you put it up on Facebook, like your the link is on Facebook. Well, for the, the nighttime one? Yeah. Uh, that one is on uh, uh it's on um um what do you call it? YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, okay. Look yeah. Anyway, you just go to my page, go to gabnet.net. Okay. And it has a list of all the shows and everything Great. like that. And that that's, goes for all you other people who are listening who don't know how to find me. Uh, hey, listen, uh, Mandy, you look like you've been working hard. Are you? <laughs> are you working hard? It's that time of year. It's crazy. I'm so, I'm swimming. Yeah. Swim well, it's nice that you call anyway and just let us see your lovely face there. And uh, Yeah, I just want to, you know, be... In the know of what you guys are, I try to, I try to listen. I'm listening while I'm doing whatever. But uh, what it would, you're waiting for tax season to be over with? Is that it? Well, it's just kind of beginning, really. Yeah. Right. Right. You know. Anyway, thank you, Mandy. I appreciate it, and thank you very much, Paula, once again for being here. We love having you here, Andrew. Always a a, a delight. It's nice to see you're here. And nobody's kidnapped you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Francine, you got to call this show on next Monday. It, we love that. Definitely, really, really a good, uh, good addition to our crew here. Uh, Len has hardly said anything today. Len, any, yeah, anything that was on your mind at all? No, no, just enjoying listening to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch the? Uh, did you watch the Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm. I'm very, uh, very depressed about the outcome of that because you were for the 49ers, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, was, I was uh, with the 49ers because I'm from San Francisco, but it was a tough game. Right. They did not play their best. And it was, you know, uh, I don't blame it on anybody, but uh, you know, it's it was still fun to watch. And I you know, this it. it's like it's like they talk about buses. There'll be another one coming along anytime. Yeah. No. There's always another season. Yeah, another season. 
Marjorie, thank you so thank much you. for being here. What's for dinner tonight? <laughs> it's a we'll see dinner. What do you mean it's a we'll see dinner? I thought <laughs> we you will you, see. I thought you I ordered food today. What come on? If I can't <laughs> get you to cook, what good are you? Not too much. Um, <laughs> Charlie, thank you so much for being here. He, you're, he's on the nighttime show too, and he's he's always there for me. I appreciate it. Same thing with Jeff; he's always there too as well. Okay. Uh, and uh, finally, as always, we sign off with the lovely voice uh, that is the voice of Edward Berger, who signs us off by saying, "That's all, folks." Okay. okay. <laughs> bye, bye, everybody. Bye, bye. See you next week. Bye, bye. See you,